Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mike Cameron. Well, today, even if it were January, we would have been complaining about how cold it was this morning. And it's November, and we had lows like these. It was just amazing. One in Lakeville, six in Hartford, five in Danielson, and Cromwell, nine. Now, though, we've seen great recovery. Temperatures are in the 20s to near 30 now. One of the cooler spots is in northwestern Connecticut at 22, but uh, already we've seen a temperature to 30 degrees in Danielson, and I think we might see one or two more degrees on top of that, and that's about it. And then it, it's about where we're going to go today with those temperatures. But you can see the blue sky we have. It's so gorgeous out there with this Arctic air mass, and we'll keep this for the rest of the day. So in looking at the sky now in Hartford, that's basically what we're going to see through the afternoon. All of that blue and just that really deep, gorgeous blue in uh, New London as well. And the wind has really died down too, and that also will be the case through the rest of the day. So temperatures now in the 20s to near 30 will just creep up maybe one or two degrees more, and that's about it. Uh, so a cold day for sure, but we don't have to deal with the wind, and we have a lot of sun. So if you have plans to go out this afternoon, maybe you're gonna tag your tree or actually get it. Maybe you're gonna go out shopping today, or maybe you're just gonna say, you know what? It's still just the day after Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna pretend like the other holidays are still weeks away, and I'm just gonna have a normal life today. That too uh, is gonna be done quite well with the weather we're having in the forecast for today. And then tonight, going to Goodwin Park. Remember, a holiday like Fantasia starting up again. It's always different, it's always new, and it always benefits the Channel 3 Kids Camp. Um, it goes from five to 10 tonight, and you can see the weather's just gonna be gorgeous. A starry sky as you look at those twinkling lights uh, in Goodwin Park tonight. After that, overnight lows go into the teens and low 20s with a clear sky. You can see how we have Hartford pegged at about 15, maybe 21 or so in New Haven. So along the shoreline, slightly milder. All of that done with a partly cloudy sky. But speaking of mild weather, there's more of it to the southwest of us, from Columbus to Louisville to St. Louis, 40s and 50s are going to be prevalent, and this type of air is working our way fairly quickly. By tomorrow afternoon, we expect temperatures here to be in the 40s. That happens during the afternoon. Then in the evening, that's when the rain starts to come in. If that had been switched, we would have been talking about wintry precipitation. But luckily, the warmth comes in first. So it will, and then this precipitation comes in, and it should be in the form of rain as it comes. So here's our future cast, tomorrow's weather today, and you can see through midday and into the afternoon, all the way through evening, how it stays mainly clear. Just a gorgeous sky today, and it stays cold. Overnight tonight, with clear skies, it gets cold again. Not quite as cold as last night. One of the reasons being we start to inherit some clouds in the morning hours, and that should suspend the cooling process. So I think teens and low 20s, but then the rain starts to come in. So let's time that out um, as we go on in time. So the afternoon's fine. It's dry through evening, but between 7 and 9, it starts to rain. Then through the overnight into Sunday morning, heavy rain is possible. Look at this. We're really getting doused with that rain. And the models are projecting one to two inches of rain still, maybe pockets of even a little bit more. And that's in your early warning seven day forecast. So we're gonna keep our eye on that. Uh, and if we get that type of level of rain, um, we'll have to watch the rivers. There could be some issues with some minor flooding on um, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Then after that, we'll have partly cloudy skies during the day on Sunday and a high of 52. Monday, it clouds up rain in the evening, 47. That could be another quick shot of a half inch of rain. Once that leaves, it's breezy on Tuesday with highs in the lower 40s. And everywhere I look, that ground is saturated. It is, yeah. So in um, every time yeah. we've had some pretty, pretty big rains, we've had some flooding issues. So yeah. we'll keep our eyes on it. Okay.